We've all experienced it and we've all felt it. But how do you break through art block? Step number one, switch things up. As a creative, sometimes the monotony of life can bog a person down. That's why sitting down and reorganizing your art supplies, playing around with different mediums, and even Redecorating your house can be therapeutic for you, but be warned, very irritating for any loved one whom you share a roof with. Step number two, keep a sketchbook. You've probably heard this a hundred times, but it's important enough to mention again. Realize that you are always going to run into those times where you just don't feel like creating. Thus, keeping a sketchbook of written ideas, thumbnail sketches, and even clippings of inspiration from magazines and other sources is key to helping you get back on track. Step number three, have your dreams shattered. And not by some stranger that you've never met, but by someone you respect and admire, someone whose opinion actually matters. As you stare down at the blank sketchbook page before you, those small little words seem to echo in your head. You'll never be a good artist. You'll never measure up. So why even try? After glancing through your sketchbook, you start to see some truth in the fact that you do have a long way to go in your art. So what is the point if you are really that far behind? You sadly place your sketchbook on the shelf and put away anything that is remotely close to art, far from your sight. You try and start life again, pursuing the things that are supposed to make you happy. You go to work, then to the gym, walk the dog, then go home, watch a movie, and go to bed. And the next day you do it all again, and again, and again, and again. You experiment in the kitchen, playing around with new spices, only to feel totally deflated when you burn the chicken to a crisp. You pretend that it doesn't matter, pretend that you're happy, pretend that everything is fine, but something is missing, and deep down, you know it. Late one Sunday afternoon, while cleaning your house, you find a small doodle hidden under the fridge. You lift it up and dust it off. Something in your chest expands. You feel this longing inside of you once again. Staring at the small little drawing, you begin to realize that it's been months since you've picked up a brush, months since you've tried to be creative in some fashion or form. So you sit and ponder. Why are you here in the first place? Why did you give up on the one thing that made you happy? It's then you realize that you gave one person's words so much weight in your life that you change your whole routine based solely on their opinion. What a stupid thing to do. Angry at yourself, you make your way back to your creative place and begin to lay out all your art supplies. Feeling the handle of the brush in the groove of your hand and the paint sliding over the page, like a child at play, you feel your imagination begin to spark and that creative drive once again ignite. Taking it slow and learning to appreciate the moment in all its beauty. It's then when you realize art takes time. And the only way to really get better at something is to just enjoy the process. Which brings us to step number four. Purposely wreck something. Believe it or not, going into a project with the idea of trying to destroy it can be very freeing, especially to the perfectionist. It can help you get out of your comfort zone and push your art to new limits. So in essence, keep trying and creating, no matter where you are in your journey.
What up y'all? I hope you enjoyed the video and this new style. This is the first video of a six part series where I'm going to break down my approach to constructing a full painting, which usually starts with me breaking through this creative blues feeling, also called art block, which usually comes after I either compare my art with others or as stated in this video, someone close to me, not intentionally, but puts me kind of down in my art kind of style and my artistic ability. And over the years, I've learned everyone has their own opinion. And if I really love this creative field, I just need to push aside their negativity and just create no matter what. Learn and move on is my motto. So here is my question for you. How do you break through art block or a lack of passion to create? Make sure to leave a comment down below. I'd love to read your feedback. Also, if you would like to read more on this topic and the reasons why you could be experiencing some art block, make sure to check that out in the link down below as well. Also, if you are a true Misfitian and have stayed to the very end of this video, make sure you hit that like button and here is a little puzzle for you to solve. As always, y'all, lots of love to you and I will see you in the next video.